dear students today we will see the numerical problems from class a power amplifier in the last lecture we have discussed theoretical part and derivation for power conversion efficiency okay so this is a problem statement consider the common source circuit shown in figure and this is a figure the circuit parameters are supply voltage is 10 okay the supply voltage is 10 10 and rd is 5 kilo ohm and the transistor parameters kn1 and threshold voltage 1 and lambda 0 assume that the output voltage is swing is limited to the range between the transition point and vds9 so that means the output swing should be in the range of transition point to maximum of 9 voltage so that the nonlinear distortion can be avoided that is the question right so now we want to understand where is the transition point right so id versus vds so here you will be having the curve like this right you will be having the curve like this and we have studied right so here you have a something a transition point like this so this is a point at which between the saturation region and non saturation region so this point we designated as vds saturation right so this is your, the saying this is a minimum right this is a minimum transition point and this is your caution point you will be fixing and this is your maximum vds so the maximum vds is 9 the vds saturation is unknown for you so your swing should be in the range of vds saturation to 9 voltage so this is a question right so this is a vds saturation transition point and this is your higher voltage right this is a higher voltage what they have given so very simple first I will give the formulas which is used to determine the determine the values ok so this is a formula when you apply the cable in the output side you will be getting this equation I explained you in the theoretical part same I have given you for doing the numericals so this is a basic equation that is a VDS saturation equal to VDS minus VTI. So I can like a, I can take this equation and I can write like in terms of VDS saturation also. Right? You can apply this ID current here. Okay, so if you apply the ID, you will be getting a VDD minus KN VGS minus VTN is your VGS saturation. So so that you VDS will be changed as VDD minus uh, KN this VGS minus VTN is nothing but your VDS saturation square into RD okay with that only this equation is coming so only thing we want to understand is the minimum point that is the transition point so I am getting from this equation with the including your ID equation right so this I can customize this VDS saturation and it was written okay so this is a minimum point at which uh, like a swing is going to start okay not start is a minimum okay it's starting as a portion point you can see here it's starting at a portion point and this is a lower minimum point and maximum higher point so lower minimum point is at VDS saturation and higher minimum point at VDS voltage ok so now when you substitute this KN value so here they have actually they have, they have rearranged this equation how they have rearranged this so I will write here so so like a VDS saturation plus then you bring this to the left side so it will become KN rd v square vds this my this is plus right so when you bring to the left side it will minus vdd equal to 0 so this is the equation it's coming here okay so i hope you will not confuse 
so this is your uh, kn this is your rd so this is your unknown i want to find this is your unknown i want to find this is your supply voltage minus 10 okay so so it is something like a polynomial equation a polynomial equation of degree of 2 right right you can apply the quadratic equation formula otherwise you can substitute directly in your calculator and you can get the two values right so like it's a polynomial equation of degree 2 with the own variable right so when you apply in the uh, like in the calculator you will be getting one vds uh, saturation in positive another in the negative so you should get the positive and negative you should omit so vds saturation cannot be a negative value it can be only the positive value right so with that this 1.32 is obtained so you can apply in the calculator and uh, you can check whether this 1.32 you are getting or not okay now like a you want to find that VDS saturation is 1.3 you are determined right the maximum is given in the problem already so that means so uh, like a so that point you have determined right so this is your okay this is your 9 this is your 1.32 that's all so you are determined now I want to find this center point so what are the point now you require is two things you require ma one is VDS Q, one is your VP. So how you will find a VDS Q? Like a, you want to find from from this given uh, very simple. See, you want to add this lower and the minimum point. See, so I want to find this center point. This point is your VDS Q. So let me uh, put it here. See, let me draw the graph. See, we will be having like this, right? Hmm. So this is your VDS saturation. So what you have determined that is one point three two. So so here you will be having a caution point in the center so that is VDS Q so this is your maximum point so it was given something 9 right so now I want to find the center point so we will find this and this add divided by 2 that is 9 point VDS plus VDS saturation is 1.32 so we will be getting this 5.16 right 5.16 this is a point so 5.16 this is 5.16 5.16 this point right now so this is your swing right this is your swing now i want to know what is your peak voltage okay this i am drawing separately okay so i want to know the what is your peak voltage so this is your vp this is your vp so this is your VDE and this is your uh, VDS cube and this is your uh, VDS saturation. So I have projected in the with the uh, I have shifted in the 90 degree and I projected here. Okay, so to find this VP voltage, so this minus this, correct? So what is the VP? That is VDS minus VDS cube. That's all. So that's all you will get this 9 minus 5.16 3.84. So your peak voltage like your sinusoidal, your input is going to be a sinusoidal, right? So I just consider in terms of sine omega t. So that means what is your understanding is so this is a sine omega t with the amplitude of 3.84. 3.84 is the amplitude and sinusoidal is your signal representation with that it was written here 3.84 into sin omega t so we know that like a, a load formula is 1 by 2 vp square divided by p phi so phi is your load resistor that is a drain resistor rd and 3.84 you have calculated right so if you substitute what you will get 1.47 milliwatts 
okay now we want to find what is the source power you know what is the source power that is average power supplied by the vdd source so vdd into idq so from the basic equation you know that is a vds equal to vdd minus id rd so with this this formula was written so that is a this is a vdd and this is a vds divided by rd so they have got this 0.986 milliamps okay now like you can have a 10 and you have a 0.9898 milliamps so if you multiply you get 9.68 milliwatts now divide this 1.47 and uh, 9.668 you will be getting your efficiency so 1.47 is your load power and 9.68 is your ac power delivered to the load so efficiency of 15.2 percentage okay so this is one problem so in the next problem see so in the next problem uh, i didn't like uh, the problem statement they didn't give the like a uh, minimum vds saturation as well as vds higher voltage also that is a swing minimum and maximum point this is a minimum and the maximum they didn't give anything right so they are given one additional parameter that is a id okay that is 28 milliamps they are given so that is 0 0.028 amps so kn1 and vdd is 20 and rd is 120 ohm these are the given values okay so the previous problem the vds value was given maximum point was given but here the vds was not given you want to find very simple so you know the formula that is vds equal to vdd minus idrd this is with respect to the output voltage terminal so here vdd is 20 it is given in the problem id also is given 28 milliamps and rd is 120 if you calculate you will be getting 16.64 so i have round off to 17 voltage 17 voltage okay i hope uh, you are clear right so very simple problem so i'll draw the diagram so that you will be very clear right so here you will be having your id versus your vds so here you will be having a graph right like this response and here will be a caution point and this will be a vds saturation this will be your maximum point okay the question is so the they didn't give this minimum point as well as maximum point i want to find this that is a question okay and you want to find your vdsq and you want to find your vp then you want to find your conversion efficiency same with convert to the with the reference to the last problem the maximum point was given in the previous problem here the maximum point was not given but id was given from the id i can find your maximum that is 17 voltage okay now you want to find vds saturation for that formula you know that vds saturation equal to vd minus k n r d v square d s saturation so substitute here vdd is 20 k n is 1 r d is 120 and v square d s saturation is unknown so this is a like a quad like a quadratic equation that is a polynomial equation and um, like a of a degree of 2 right so that 2 in one variable right so that is a vds saturation and vds saturation so you will be having a two points like a, you will be having two vds values one will be positive one will be negative so if you just substitute in calculator that is a like a in terms of a degree 2 right so you will be having two possibilities one is a positive one is a negative so even you can apply in the quadratic equation and you can get Otherwise, you can apply in your uh, calculator and you can get your two values. So, one will be positive, another will be negative. You take a positive value. The positive value is 0 0.404. Okay. So, with that, I am moving. Okay. Now, uh, your understanding is your minimum point is 0.4. That you can note down, right? 0.4. How you will find the center point? You want to add this and this and divided by 2 that is a vdsq very simple that is 17 plus 0.4 divided by 2 that's all how you will find a peak voltage peak voltage will be 17 minus this center point okay 
so that is uh, 17 minus this obtained VDSQ value so that we will find in the coming slide see how see so how much they got it was 8.702 so they have taken here and substituted it was 8.3 representation of single sign so it is sine omega t now I want to find what is the conversion efficiency the formula you know that is 1 by 2 vp all squared divided by rd vp we have determined 8.3 that is 1 by 2 8.3 whole square divided by 120 kilo ohm. so you will be getting 0 0.28 milliwatts and now i want to find source power that is vdd into idq so idq i can calculate from the basic output equation that is vd is equal to vdd minus id rd from this this formula was written was written and substituted the given plug-in values okay so you'll be getting 0 0.09415 milliamps okay so if you multiply with 20 into that uh, milliamps current you'll be getting 1.88 milliwatts now you know what is the load power you know what is the source power and divide it and you'll be getting efficiency in term of 14 percentage